So today is March 7th, it is 7 p.m. and I really felt like I had to do this vlog today. I know I said I was going to try to wake, wait um, like once a week to do them, but I really like doing them so I felt like I should do another one because I had a lot on my mind. Today was really stressful. Um, I had a venue cancel on me in Thibodeau. It was a VFW, of course. None other. Yeah, those venues, I'm really, really upset with them right now because it just seems like VFWs and American Legions and all those type of places. God forgive me for saying this, but it just seems like it's a bunch of drunk old men that have came out of a war or something and don't know what the hell they're talking about or what the hell they're doing. And I'm just really frustrated with them right now because it upsets a lot of people and a lot of bands, you know, when they do something like that. And the guy was just so rude about it, um, you know, when I tried to work with him. But basically, um, he didn't have the authorization to rent it to me in the first place. So he's going to be sending me my deposit back soon. Um, and also, you know, I've got my schedule worked out, which is great. Um, getting up at like 5 o'clock in the morning and going to bed at 8 so I'll be going to bed in a little bit and the more I get used to it I think I'll start doing more of the things that are on it you know like um, working out and stuff like that and uh, I'm loaded with work it seems like I just sit here at my desk for hours and hours I usually sit here from about 7 till 7 so 12 hours and I know I do a lot, but it feels like I'm not doing anything. And because I mean, I have like a list and of stuff to do daily, and you know, I would say 60 to 70 percent of it gets done, and then it rolls on to the next day, and then the next day, and sometimes it doesn't get done all week. And I don't like feeling that way. I don't know what to do about this I mean I know having more of a staff is going to help me out but I feel like I'm just working and working and working and um you know I need help really um I'm really looking forward to the uh Gulfport Rock Summit even though the Thibodeau slash Homo one was cancelled um I went ahead and mailed out all the tickets for Gulfport so all the bands are getting like 15 tickets each about for that one and the bands on there are really good bands so I'm looking good forward to that um I also called X Prize the foundation you know for the lunar X Prize going to the moon and everything to see if I could join with their team I really shouldn't be doing that because I can't really handle the work I'm doing now but I do want to have that on the back burner and uh constantly keep it in mind and once I get free time I know I'm going to be focused on my career for the next few years, but once I get free time, I would definitely like to be able to help out with that type of stuff. Um, I don't like Fridays. I feel like they slow me down. And uh, I like watching Oprah because she makes me feel so comfortable. I just feel so at ease when I'm with her. I still haven't even had a chance to watch that um, A New World uh, classroom that she's doing. I did download it on podcast, so maybe... When I'm flying or traveling somewhere, I'll get a chance to watch it. Um, I feel... I'm kind of scared scared of, you know, what would happen if I don't succeed or I didn't work like I am now. I feel like I'd be secluded or, like, alone. It's kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, I do feel that way. I can't wait to have the staff, like I just said. Um... I have a show tomorrow at the Hickey Diddle, um, downtown in Pensacola, and I haven't been able to promote it at all, but I'm trying to look at that as, that's not on me, that's on the bands. I have a show to promote, which is Rock Summit, and, uh, the bands are responsible for their own shows, so I'm not really trying to put too much stress on myself for that. Um... I feel like I was thinking about this the other morning and about to go because I pretty much talked about everything I wanted to talk about. But uh, the other morning I was waking up and I had this thought and I was like, you know, well, there's been so many changes in 
the history of life. He, like, we, even as a world, we don't know where we're going in the future. Like, there's never been a future for the whole entire world. But the entire world has had a past. And we can look back at the past and we can see the times that we've changed and times of significant change, like, you know, the birth of Jesus Christ and then, um, let's see, well, the Great Depression, the 70s. 70s kind of seemed like everybody just slacked off a little bit. Um, and, you know, there's just several, like, iconic, I guess, uh, times in there. But I think right now we are in the midst of a huge, huge change, like America, especially with the information age that we've just had and all the computers and everything. I just think that, like, this, we're about to be blown away. Maybe it really is the third coming of Jesus because I think Hillary or Barack are really going to become president and vice president, either vice versa. And um, that's going to be a major, major change. And then you got to consider, like, with computers and everything like that, um, you know, how much more th faster and faster things are going to change. Because I couldn't even do what I do today, working with all the bands, if it wasn't for the Internet. You know, I wouldn't have, I, w I don't know what I would be doing. I think I'd be doing something they're promoting, but I wouldn't be able to probably work like I do or as e efficiently. And then the other thing I was thinking was, well, I think every time has had change. Like, you know how we say where the information age there's never been this much change? I can kind of see that being a thing that they say in every single person's lifetime, even back 2,000 years ago. I can see them saying something like, well, we just invented the will. We've never had that much progress in our entire um, existence of being here on earth so I don't know if it's really just a, an illusion that every generation thinks they're better than the last but it could be so I'm just going to put that out there and I feel like I'm about to go to bed here again on my own so I'm going to leave you guys with the song by White Snake, and it starts with here I go again on my own so good night everybody though I keep searching for an answer No!